Isaiah chapter 30. Verse 20, and it reads, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. And when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors. To the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing. And you already know, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. Just going in a quick lesson of your eyes, seeing your teachers. We, we have to make ourselves seen. Point, point blank, period. Point blank, period. Like the elder apostles, you no know saying slash elder bishops always push throughout the week, show ourselves on camera. And most definitely when we out there on the highways and byways, but like once, twice, three times a week, if possible, do a video with your face being seen. So you, so we just, we just read. Your eyes shall see your teachers. You're not going to be behind a black screen every time. Nobody don't know what the hell you look like. You're doing all these videos, but don't nobody know what the hell you look like. Show your face so the listeners can see who they who they listening to. I mean, that's just common sense. Even according to this scripture, but that's just common sense. You want somebody to see who they listening to. Let's get it again. Isaiah. And, and, and we're going to be seeing that on the highways and byways and these, uh, these video epistles that we do throughout the week. But let's get this again. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20, and it reads, And though the Lord give you, and though Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. No, the Lord bring out, he sent forth the apostles last, remember? You had all these different movements. This is the last one. The true men of the Lord on the highways and byways now, right? What it say? But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Henceforth, we got to go to the highways and byways and be seen. When we do these videos throughout the week, we got to at least do a couple of them with our faces being shown. At least a couple of them. The elder apostles been pushing that. They show their faces. Let us show our faces. Every video we can't, we do, we can't, you know what I'm saying? We can't just not show our faces. Come on now. You did a thousand videos, but you ain't showed your face one time. How's these people going to see their teachers? How? 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 And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh following the 100% truth according to the Bible. This is the way. Because evidently, somebody was going the wrong way. If you're hearing a word behind thee saying, This is the way, that means you're going the wrong way. All right. What was the wrong way? Plantation Christianity, Islam, Mormonism, um, uh, Halloween. You, you, you know what I mean. The cousins of the heathen. Th that was the wrong way. Jesus. That's the wrong way. Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu goddess. That's the wrong way. Um, the Egyptian gods, Horus, Seth, Geb, Neb. I'm in raw. If I ain't say that, that's the wrong way. But your ears gonna hear a word. Uh, but, but thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, "This is the way. Walk ye in it." When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, just something quick. We we got we got to be seen out there on the highways and byways, and throughout the week on these video pistols. We got we got to. And the Lord said, "Feed them." Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. Cause it says your eyes shall see your teeth. Let me just prove where. Let me prove where, because everybody's flocking to those church buildings. Let, let, let's show you St. Matthew chapter 22. Uh, it's a lot I'm rushing through it. I'm kind of pressed for time. Got to get ready to head out, get this daily bread, Lord. Well, I'm kind of, um, kind of late already just a little bit. But St. Matthew chapter 24, Lord willing, a hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and Israelites that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like all these different nations. All right? If your seed line, a.k.a. your bloodline, goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father's side, 
pursuant to Numbers 1 and um, 19. I'm, I'm going to have to go there, too. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there right quick. Let's go to Numbers right quick. Let's see. Numbers. Was it 1 and 9? 1 and 18? Numbers chapter 1. Let's see. 18. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation, because I made a point, you know what I'm saying? I just want to uh, answer it with the scripture. I want to back it up with a scripture, rather, as far as and I was saying, um, according to the seed line of your father. I just want to prove that. It's not according to your mother, it's according to your father. And here's the scripture right here. The woman doesn't determine your nationality. The father does. Here's the scripture on the Israel. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. Your pedigree. Uh, after, and brothers put the definition of the word pedigree. And they declared their pedigrees. Either their fathers, but but after that, like you, after that, I'm, I'm excited. So so like you, and they declared their pedigrees after their families, by the house of their who of their fathers. So your nationality is determined by your fathers, according to the number of the names, and from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So that's the point right there. Your nationality is determined by the Father. So I want to go here, St. Matthew chapter 22, because it says your eyes are going to see your teachers. Let me show you where. St. Matthew chapter 22, verse 9, and it reads, Go ye therefore into the highways. So where are you going to see your teachers at? On the highways. A church building, the highways. In the backyard, the highways. The highways and byways. The sheep, the, um, uh, the, um, the agora. You no know I'm saying? The marketplaces, right? Go ye therefore, in this red letter, can't forget that, this red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak in who they eagerly call Jesus speaking, right? Our Savior, go ye therefore, this is what he's commanded his servants to do, right? Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage, so those servants went out. They didn't say, oh, I can't, I can't do it, I'm scared, I, I don't want to be seen. So those servants went out into the highways, the highways, the highways, and gathered together all as many as they found, both good and bad, because we're fishing. We're out there fishing. When we go out there to the highways and byways with this Bible, we're out there fishing. And you can, and brothers can put that up there too. And that's in the book of Matthew. Fishes of men, I will make you fishes of men. Both good and bad, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Because anytime you go fishing, like in the ancient times, they went fishing with a net, and you would catch all kind of fish. You catch good fish, and you would catch bad fish. You would keep the good fish, and you would throw the bad fish back. So all kind of, all kind of, and that's likening it to men. You know what I'm all kind of men are gonna come into this thing. The ones that are right, the Lord's gonna keep. You see. The ones that ain't right, the Lord gonna get rid of, right? So let's go. Let's go here. I wanna go right back. I wanna go to um. I was I was going to go to Jeremiah. I wanna get Jeremiah. Let's get this right quick. But the main point to this lesson is, is that your teachers will be seen. Make yourself seen. And the men that's on every video, usually like brothers that's on every video throwing up all kind of scriptures. You're supposed to be on the highways and byways. You've been watching for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you've been watching, you know what I'm saying, for like a year. Bear, bear with me. I'm good now. Especially if you've been watching, you know what I'm saying, for like a year, two years, three years. You you know, you, it, it's the spirit of your howl, Baha Shem Yahweh is on you. And you ain't got to ask nobody if you're supposed to be on the highways and byways. You're going to know. You, you're going to know. So this um Jeremiah 3 and 15. Let's go here. Because it says you're going to see your teachers. And this is what your teachers are going to be doing. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. His mind. The heavenly father's mind. Which is going to be speaking according to the scriptures, right? Because pursuant to Isaiah 8 20. If they speak not according to this word. You already know. It is because there is no light in them. If you're listening to somebody. A man. And he's not bringing out scriptures and he's not speaking according to the scriptures. He's telling you that there's something that ain't in the scriptures. Ain't no light in them. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding of the Bible. They're going to break it down. Line upon line, line upon line. 
precept upon precept, precept upon precept, precept here a little and there a little. They're going to go from one book to another book, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, back and forth, back and forth, giving you the proper understanding of the scripture. And I want to get this too. But I want to read this one more time. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, because remember, this is our job. Your, your eyes shall see your teachers, Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors, spiritual guides, leaders, according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, according to the Bible. And that's what's going to keep you stable, having faith in it. And I want to get this right quick. Let's get this. Um, no. Um, let me see. Bear with me. I can't type that fast, so just bear with me. Let's see. We're going to get it. Let's go here. Just want to get this. This what this what your teachers are going to be doing. Let's get this. This is um Sirach chapter 15, verse 3. Let's just click on it. Sirach chapter 15, verse 3. And it reads, With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. Because the scriptures are known as water, bread, milk, wine, so forth and so on, right? So what are we out there to do? We're out there to give you the bread of understanding. Because these scriptures, you most definitely going to need a teacher. To understand these scriptures, you, you're going to need a teacher. And I want to go here too. Seek the Lord Israel. You see the men out there, you hopeful ex out there, you see the men out there on the highway and byways, take heed. Take heed. This is um, Amos chapter 3. Verse, um, because I made a statement, you're going to need your teachers to understand the scriptures. To get the um, breakdowns of what the scripture is saying, you're going to need a teacher. Amos chapter 3, verse 7, and read, Should the Lord power would do nothing. The Lord ain't going to come down here and tell you nothing or teach you anything. But he revealeth his secret and to his servants, the prophets. So the, the secrets have been revealed to the servants, the prophets. So who are you going to go to? Who are you going Who are you um, going to have to go to to get the true breakdowns of the scriptures? The prophets. You're going to have to watch the videos of the prophets to get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. The full breakdowns of the scriptures, you most definitely going to have to go to a man of the Lord. I'm reading it right here. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord's power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret and to his service, the prophet. And it's the only thing that's going to keep you stable. All hell breaking loose. I want to go right back to Isaiah. I want to go back there and get that. Isaiah 33. Let's just get that right quick. Isaiah 33. And, and the promise of the Lord, they're going to they're gonna give you the good, the bad, the nastiness of the scriptures. They're going to go into the scriptures that don't nobody else want to touch. Everybody else is scared. Everybody else is offended at what's really in this Bible. The majority of these Israelite group leaders, they're offended at the majority of the things that are written in the Bible. That's why they come against the apostles, the elder apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down when we when we bring it out. Everybody say, bring it out. But then when we bring it out, they get offended. Israelite men and women get offended at the true gospel. But the Lord said, blessed are those that's not offended in me. But the Lord did say offenses must come. So people will get offended. But the Lord said, but woe unto him or her of whom the offenses come. So, so you Israelites out there going back and forth, Offended at the words of the Lord. Your day coming. Don't worry about it. the Lord said, Whoa, woe unto them that are offended at me. You see, in my words, uh, and it's a duchess uh, and sinful generation. Bro, let's go put that up there. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible shall be the stability of thy times. What's going to keep us stable? Having faith in the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Say, so, yeah, I just want to do something quick. I wish I could have brought out more scriptures of um, you seeing your teachers and the things of that nature, you know. 
Hey, your eyes gonna see your teachers. Let us be seen. On the highways and byways, don't try to hide your face. Show your face. Show the Lord you're a true servant. We're true servants of your how by Shimei Abishai, right? When we're doing sit-down lessons throughout the week, at least once or twice a week, show your face on the video. So your listeners will know who, who they listening to. They can put the um the um the face with the voice, so to speak. But yeah, that's all I got for right now, man. Lord willing, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Your teach you your eyes shall see your teachers. Shalom.